Highly successful in the UK, and now for the second year in India, Debating Matters challenges 16 to 18 year olds to engage in high level debate about contemporary society. A unique feature of the competition is that students engage in debate in front of a panel of high achieving professionals on topics as diverse as young politicians, alternative medicine, and climate change. This video provides a glimpse of the enthusiasm for debating matters and its distinctive approach. Debating Matters India started two years ago. This is the second year, as most of you know. And we never imagined that we would get this kind of response from schools all over India. Debating Matters is an introduction to an intellectual, political, cultural life that's about expanding your mind, looking at different ideas, different opportunities, challenging one another. This is real education, because it tells them to look at something, select, apply it, and make it their own. India's objective at this point in time should be to alleviate those millions who are still lying in poverty. My friend here mentioned about uh, how agricultural sector has to be influenced and how the uh, climate change has already affected agriculture. Well, that is the exact reason why we need economic development. Are we forgetting something called providing irrigational facilities? Without economic development, without investment of uh, capitals into such projects, we can never come out of the poverty we've already entered. If you look at India's current infrastructure, there is room to save 0.3 million tons of CO2 emissions in the railway industry alone, simply by improving the efficiency in coal consumption. Why should we concentrate on de uh, development? Because it's going to affect us the most. There are 50 million most. people living without electricity. It's going to affect us the most. Okay, it is ironical, it's hypocritical, but that's the truth. Okay, development means different things to different people, and each person have their own goals towards development. So now people in the Western world, say in the US, they've been driving cars for ages now. It's like something, a luxury that they take for granted. Now finally, in the Indian middle class is able to afford a car. So don't you think that if India has to concentrate on climate change, you're declining its people something which the rest of the world takes for granted. This debate really made us think deeply about the issues that are really, you know, the hot issues that are going around the world right now. We have to know what we are talking about. It's not a three-minute speech. You get on the podium, say something and get off. I think you have to know your content. I think that that is the hardest part, to be able to face the judges, to be able to answer, answer your opponents, answer the audience. One of the topics in the regional finals was surrogacy. That was something you know we never thought of before. But what I found out was amazing. They're kind of reflections on the topic, you know. You know, it opened up an entire new vista, new dimensions, you know. And we could see glimpses of the future. A very illuminating, enlightening stuff, you know. Oh, I've heard a series of terrific debates today. The students have been extremely thoughtful. They've worked hard on understanding their subjects. And what we're really making them do is making them think, and making them think on their feet. And actually, that's an incredibly important skill. Around 70% of India is below the age of 40. We live in a representative democracy. And yet, the average age of, uh, of parliament, as stated by my co-delegate, is around 53 years. Shouldn't this 70% of India get its adequate representation? What has age got to do with the particular example that you gave? I think it's about political affiliation and leanings rather than age. Yeah. What Indian politician can do is be in touch with the masses, be in touch with the Indian population, and actually reflect and realize the sentiments of the Indian electorate. Uh, it's important that you have a number of younger people to, to reflect. Well, you're just saying the same thing again. Indian Rose has a rather large female population. I believe it's 50%. It's likely to be. So, you're, so why not make the okay. same argument? The, the similarity between the causes is that, yes, they have a lower representation in our parliament, yet the, the issue of women not being there is more a social issue than a political issue in this case. Um, really? The, the, yeah, because uh, women, as yet, in our country are not empowered. Debating Matters is a fantastic vehicle uh, for us to work uh, with the, the next generation of, uh, of leaders uh, coming up in India. The best part about the experience is that people take us seriously here. Adults talk to us as if we are, you know, as experienced with the topics as they are. And we really like that. We're used to being treated like kids in school. So it's, it's a big change for us. And the people judging us are the best in their field. We have editors from newspapers and we have doctors, we have lawyers, we have like the best people from all over the country judging what we have to say. 
I think the difference between debating matters in my time is that debating matters really takes the subject outwards. It opens the speaker up to accepting other people's point of views, which we were not expected to do. And that's a huge big difference because when I see the development of the world in the last 30, 40 years, it's pretty much reflective of the way we did our debating, which was you state your proposition and walk away from it, which I don't think is the correct way to move the world today. And the quality of the thought of the young people was quite amazing. Actually, being a judge on debating matters was one of the most difficult experiences of my life. It's much easier actually to do surgery, which is what I do for a living, than to take on these young people who have clear minds, who are ready to challenge you. Nobody has to plug debating matters to me because the concept that ideas can change the world is something that I hold dear to my heart. This is a very important debate. It's the final debate of year two of Debating Matters India. The sum of all indigenous knowledge from distant cultures, from all over the globe, compiled over a span of thousands of years, is what alternative medicine is all about. The conventional medicines which came much later have become part of mainstream medicines with acceptance worldwide, since it has been able to produce consistent, measurable, and predictable results over a larger period of time, whereas alternative medicine has failed to do so. When you speak about alternate systems, you should do a little more research into it. For example, the government of India has set up a department, a separate department called Ayush. And uh, this Ayush department is for Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha, Yoga and Naturopathy. I would say that uh, they had some very strong arguments but, and were very nimble in returning, replying to the opposite side. But they seem to lack conviction at some time about the strength of their case. What has been uh, uh, unique about this debating matters is that uh, we've also managed to webcast it, which has uh, sort of exploded the scope of uh, the audience, and uh, which is where we would really, really like to look at, you know, having a larger population on board watching it not maybe physically present with us, but also online, and especially all the alumni, whether it's in India and UK. Well, this is real debating. What we were doing till now was, was, uh, was elocution. This is real debating in which you actually engage uh, with the opposition. You have a discussion about, uh, about things that really matter, things that, uh, that really affect us. I want to thank all of you in this room who've participated. And of course, you are the tip of the pyramid because this is a competition that's gone throughout Indian schools. Uh, there were the initial debates, which were done online, and then the heats. And so the depth of the impact of this in terms of getting people in schools at the most important stages of their lives, you're receiving your education. This is all about learning to think for yourselves. So the, the winners of Debating Matters India are DPS Mega City. <laughs> We are DPS Megacity Kolkata and we are the national champions of the DA Magazine in India. It was very challenging, uh, the tremendous amount of research was required for it. We were up to the mark, we did a lot of homework to be honest and it feels great at the end of the day. You'll be amazed to know four of these speakers uh, right from the regional uh, rounds were speaking for the first time ever in their lives. Um, I just was speaking to the winners of Debating Matters India, Year 2, uh, DPS, uh, a school from Calcutta, and they just said this has changed the way we think about ideas, we're going to now speak out and we're going to make an impact on the world. And that's what Debating Matters India is all about, is what Debating Matters is all about, it's what the Institute of Ideas is all about.